Welcome back. We're now with today's first guest. Now, she's a human statue. She's Katie Vishniak. Katie, Yay. welcome. So let's, let's talk about what you do because we've seen them in parks and out in public places. People that are statues and they're alive. They're all made up in makeup. How did you get into this? Uh, well, I had some friends who did it and I was really bad at everything else I tried. <laughs> and so you decided you wanted to try this and now, did you go to school for this? How do you train for something like this? Uh, there are no schools for this. Uh, it's like most other types of street performance in that you just listen to your audience's direction. If they tell you that you're terrible, you keep working on it. And mm -hmm. that's how most people learn. Now, how do how, they actually tell you that you're terrible? How, how did you? They say much worse things than that. They say things I'm pretty sure I can't say here. <laughs> well, you can, but we'll just bleep them out. Oh, That's okay. That's what we do. Uh, now, let me ask you, what, what have you dressed up as? What do you look like when you're a statue? Are you doing the Statue of Liberty or what? Ah, uh, that's been done to death. Um, <laughs> That's the last one I saw. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I heard someone say they saw that on the 4th. Mm -hmm. um, I actually, right now, I'm doing sort of an old-fashioned hobo. I've got my little bindle stick. Mm -hmm. I do a witch in uh, Halloween in Salem. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of fun. Those are my two sort of main costumes right but, now. But this is, this is how you make a living. This is all you do, right? Yep. So, so what do you do? Do you travel with this or you just stay here in New England or where do you go? Yes, you have to travel. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, most people travel even more than I do. I think it's a, a testament to how well I do in the spots I have in Massachusetts mm -hmm. that I don't have to spend all winter in Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do. There's Salem. nothing wrong with that though. I like to well, spend all winter. Yeah, no, I, I showed up in Miami in November and I was thinking, well, I could stay here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I do Salem in October for Halloween. Mm -hmm. I spend my summers in Provincetown, Massachusetts, mm -hmm. usually, and then in spring and fall and winter, I, I sort of supplement everything with private gigs, with fairs and festivals, and also by working around Boston. Now, where's the farthest place that you had to travel to do your work? Well, I actually have worked once in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Mm -hmm. So down there when it's warm, you have your makeup on and what happens? Isn't it hot down there? It is hot down there. This was over the winter and North mm -hmm. Florida is not as hot as South Florida. Now how does someone go about uh, hiring you or booking you? Do you have a website or somewhere we can, can look at your stuff? Um, yes, I actually, I'm sort of in transition right mm -hmm. now. I was working with one company that I owned, but mm -hmm. I've been uh, tentatively, well no, I've been tentatively hired by another company. Oh, okay. So that's sort of wrapping up. Mm -hmm. um, Although the statuefactory.com still has my information up, I can still be booked through there, or you can just email bostonstatuelady at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. So uh, this company you said was the what, the Boston? Uh, the Statue Factory. The Statue Factory. So yes. people all over the country that do what you do, they sign up with this organization, is that? Not at all. Uh, all of these organizations are still very, very local. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I had started a business in Boston that had maybe four people working for it uh, at most, and the one that I've recently been hired by has about 40 people working for it. It's the biggest in the U.S. by far. Have you ever scared anyone? They actually thought you were a statue and you moved and they, they jumped up, or what happened? Yes. Uh, when that started happening to me, I knew I'd arrived. <laughs> <laughs> you knew you were good. Yes. We'd like you to come back sometime and, and be a statue and scare Tony, if you don't mind, because we like to scare our band leader when we can. Oh, well, sure. <laughs> All right, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll keep it a secret when we do it, and we will do it. Let me just ask you one last thing. What's your favorite thing, thing to dress up as and be a statue of? Uh, I love the witch, but I love the pirate more. The pirate? Yes. I haven't done it in years, but it was my favorite thing in the world. Okay, we'll, we'll try for the pirate when we scare Tony this year. Well, keep your eyes open, folks, for Katie Vishniak. All right, we'll be right back. Thank you, Katie. We'll be right back right after this.